great way to start the day. <laughs> My name is Wendy T. Sell, and I'm happy to be the moderator today with these wonderful, talented winemakers up here sharing their wines with you this morning. I think the beautiful thing about Santa Barbara County's wine region is not only the diversity of climate, geology, geography, terroir, Allowing for so many different grape varieties to thrive here in this region, dozens of different grape varieties, but also that chance-taking maverick wine growers in the early days were brave enough to experiment with many different wine grape varieties. And the other cool thing is that those same wine pioneers are still at it today in Santa Barbara County. One of those varieties that thrives here dates back more than 35 years in Santa Barbara County. Bob Lindquist was the first to make Syrah in Santa Barbara County in 1982 for his coupe wine cellars for grapes that he bought from Gary Everly at Estrella River in Paso Robles. Zaco Mesa Vineyards made their first Syrah in 1983 from their own vineyard in Fox and Canyon. Their earliest Syrah vines were grafted over onto Petit Syrah planted in 1978. This is part of the famous Black Bear Block. Then in 1986, Vienna Cito Vineyards in the Santa Maria Valley grafted the first seven acres of X Block Riesling over to Syrah. The first Syrah crop there was in 1987, making it the first vineyard in California to grow what is considered cool climate Syrah. But we are here this morning to celebrate what Santa Barbara County Syrah is today. It is grown in every Santa Barbara County APA, now totaling 1,900 acres, Syrah plantings that is, and Syrah is produced in a range of styles as you will soon experience. Let me introduce our panel, seven people passionate about Santa Barbara County Syrah. Over here to your Right, we have Pete Stoltman, Managing Partner at Stoltman Vineyards. Michael Marner, Owner, Winemaker at Marner Vineyard and Winery. Chris Hamill, Vineyard Manager at Vienna Cito Vineyards. Larry Schaefer, Owner, Winemaker at Tercero Wines. Scott Sampler, Proprietor, Winemaker at Central Coast Group Project. Mark Horvath, Owner, Winemaker of Crawford Family Wines and Chad Melville, owner of Wine Grower at Samsara and Melville Vineyards. Today we will taste eight Syrahs, two from Ballard Canyon, two from the Santa Maria Valley, two from Los Alamos, and two from Santa Rita Hills, all current releases. And we begin in the heart of the Santa Inez Valley, just a few miles from here in Ballard Canyon, one of Santa Barbara County's newest ABAs, it is a north-south oriented canyon providing a mixed climate on the edge of a cooler ABA, Santa Rita Hills, and a warmer ABA, Happy Canyon. 60% of the vines planted in Ballard Canyon are Syrah. Tom Stoltman founded Stoltman Vineyard in Ballard Canyon two decades ago and planted 153 acres to grapes. Their blocks of Syrah were planted in 1992 and 94, and today, Wine number one is Stoltman's 2013 Original Syrah. Pete, please tell us about this wine. 2006 <laughs> is really the high water mark for that really jammy, high octane Shiraz profile. Um, and then 2000, 2007 was a very difficult finish, and then the economic crisis hit, and Shiraz internationally really, really died. Um, so today, uh, there's a whole new worldwide Syrah market, and it's very exciting that um, there's really been a, a, a sea change in uh, the perception of Syrah, and, um, and it's really exciting. We're, we're kind of having the chance to be, to be reborn, uh, which brings us to here, to, to Ballard Canyon. Um, I was lucky enough to take over uh, the vineyard in 2009, and in 2010, uh, Michael Warner uh, finally said, hey guys, we have to get the ABA and really put those initial steps together, got us all together, and driving for the ABA, we got our publication from the TTB in 2013. And I'll never forget, we're sitting um, in my place um, on, on the vineyard, and everybody agreed that Syrah is Ballard Canyon's number one rival. It should be our message. 
Um, so today, um, I think it's really powerful that Ballard King is the only APA in America dedicated to Syrah. I'm not saying there are not great Syrahs made from every other APA in Santa Barbara and Sonoma and Paso, but the majority of planted acreage in Ballard Canyon is Syrah, and it's great to have everybody in agreement that it's a perfect match. And when I talk about the originals, you know, I, I think it really shows through with, with this Syrah in particular. Um, the originals planting, as Wendy mentioned, um, is uh, planted back in 1992-94. Um, half of it is that it's Terry River clone from Sac Mesa Black Bear Block. We took the cuttings and planted them on our vineyard. And that's actually a very important vineyard, I feel, in Santa Barbara County. If you get the chance to try and hold Black Bear from Sac Mesa Syrah, they're beautiful. I like them young too, but they really, they need to be a decade old to really show their magic. Um, that veneer, because it is, what, 1978, did you say something like that? Yeah, um, it's around 1978, after they're going to Gotcha, so, um, and it's second generation of Story River, which is very important because Story River has been passed around California. Um, and so sometimes if you get cuttings, it's, it'll be riddled with virus because every vineyard that's implanted and propagated and, and replanted is picked up a lot of junk along the way. Um, so I love that black bear material. I think it's really clean and beautiful. And then the other um, material in this one is the Jarell vineyard from Sonoma. And unfortunately, and this kind of ties back into the Syrah market, there's no more Syrah on Jarell. Um, they just couldn't resist the, the temptation to plant more and more Pinot Noir, um, which is kind of telling in this kind of economic climate where there's so much money to be made with Pinot Noir, and Pinot Noir is so popular right now. Um, that's an interesting little side note. So, Story River and Durrell, and uh, we call this the originals uh, because uh, from everything we know, it's the original, the oldest uh, Syrah in Dollar Canyon. And uh, from this block where Manfred Crankle and Adam Tolmach were buying the fruit, um, everybody bought the land around us and planted more and more Syrah. And uh, right now I think there are 17 vineyards in Dollar Canyon uh, and eight grower producers. Uh, each of the eight grower producers can use the Ballard Canyon bottle uh, only for Syrah. So we're really trying to bring that message uh, that Syrah's our focus. So there's the words Ballard Canyon etched into the shoulder of the bottle. And uh, all of us in Dollar Canyon can use it if we're the farmer and only for a Syrah. And the style of the wine, um, we dry farm. Uh, we don't irrigate uh, from scent all the way through harvest. And we're really trying to achieve natural concentration by withholding irrigation, no dilution. Um, and that way we can pick appropriately. We want this wine to dry at 14% alcohol. Uh, we don't really care for it to exceed that, but also we don't want it far below. Um, below 14% we find they can be a little austere, and far above we kind of lose the nuance and freshness that we want out of Syrah, and we're not trying to make sure as. Um, fermented in, uh, in concrete, uh, big thick concrete fermenters, all native fermentation, and uh, these days we only use free run juice, so we're only um, using the, the wine that will come out the bottom of the tank without pressing. There's no press wine. The idea with the concrete, very minimal punch downs, more gentle extraction, and then only free-run juice are really trying to manage our tannin. Um, our wines back in the 90s and 2000s were really big and mean. We're really trying to hit a finer balance. And again, that ties into the freshness, the nuance, and we want these wines approachable a couple years out rather than a decade out. Um, but the 13, still a little bit quiet, it's unfiltered. It'll take a year or two more to really come out of the shell. But today we're all showing correct vintage, so some of them might be a good Thank you all. Yeah, how many different Syrahs do you produce? Uh, five. We have, uh, give or take, we have some new plantings and that are really exciting. We've uh, transitioned more to, to uh, head prone, really high density uh, vines that can only be worked over by hand by our full time crew. Uh, but I think we have uh, 90 acres today of, of Syrah. And uh, from which we make our main line, our state grown, the originals, which we, would be the old vine, one hilltop block, and Anjali selection, named after my mom and her family, and then Ruben's block for the great Ruben Solorzano, our figure manager.